just yes. let go. You just let go and you're doing yoga and you're actually enjoying a really nice yoga practice. And right. then at the same time, you have this magical moment. You have this moment. Oh, here he is, here he is. Is he out? Yeah, there he is. Oh, yes. Can I try and grab him? Oh, there oh, 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 that's so that's cool, man. That's so cool. You see that shell really blends in. And that's just what she wants to do. She wants to go in and ride in aquatic vegetation, right? Love it. So cool. <laughs> So there's the boys. We got the steaks grilling over there. It's all for Kenan. Kenan's oh, in town. <laughs> you guys are too cool. Visiting Blue too Sky Farms. Me. And this is, Eddie, this is only the second time I've been back since we finished it, Tropical Fish Pond. Exactly. Second time you've been back. Everything is looking great right now. So Kenan, this is what we're calling the Tropical Pond. Yeah. So we have Titan the Fly River in here. We also have some really cool cichlids. All the plants around it are all tropical they plants. They look familiar, man. Right? Yeah. These are all right out of your pond. Your own this beach. Is great. <laughs> I mean, I love it, man, and the fact that, you know, it's two separate systems, it's so much to take in. And that's the cool thing about what I've been seeing with these ecosystems, it's just so many different things that you guys can do to make each one unique. Yep. And that's what gets me excited. You never get bored. Never. You're always creating a new project. Exactly. That's the beauty of it. I mean, literally, I can come in here, take all the rocks out, put it back together. It, it would look totally, totally different. different. Yes. It would look totally different. Yeah. That's so. one thing I've learned. You know, sometimes I had to rearrange things. I'm like, oh, how'd this rock go? Oh, it doesn't matter as long as it keeps the integrity of the, the overall exactly. flow exactly. that you guys have created. Oh, here he is. Here he is. Is he out? Yeah, there he is. Oh, yeah. Can I try and grab him? Oh, they're going, oh, 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 Are you serious? <laughs> he jumped like right he, on him. He was gone. He's oh, wait. So no, he's there. Yes. There he is. You, you see him? I got him. I got him. Oh, my God. There it is. <laughs> yeah. If Ladies. anybody could catch him, I knew it would be you. Oh, this is so adorable. Beautiful. Oh, man. This is awesome. Fly River Turtle, little baby. Woo! And one of the reasons we built him this is we wanted to grow out a little bit and okay. be outside in the sun. I mean, just feeding on anything and everything. The paraphyton, all the microorganisms, everything that grows inside of here replicating his natural environment. Yeah. So we have sand, we got wood, yeah. we got plants, we got rocks and gravel and all types of stuff. If you folks out there don't know, these are the only freshwater turtle that have paddle flippers yep. like a sea turtle. Of course, they have that pig nose. They get the pig nose turtle, the fly river turtle, which is where they're from in Papua New Guinea. And you can also find them in northern Australia just an awesome species and they are very unique in that they are the only members of their genus and species that mm. are still alive today. That's so and yours is about 14 oh, inches. Oh maybe. yeah, they get huge and that's why I'm so excited to see such a little one. <laughs> yeah. uh, it's such a cute little guy. <laughs> right? I mean, mine are monsters. It's one of those, if you're a turtle nerd, it's like a bucket list turtle because it is so rare. Yeah. They are not allowed to be imported any longer and most of the animals we have in country were actually animals that were confiscated. Like Big Rich is a sanctuary I'm a sanctuary um, and that's how you get these animals it's very difficult to my knowledge no one except the Bronx Zoo has produced these guys in captivity Wow yeah what we originally tried with that very first pond we built in my yeah. house was for a fly river and unfortunately it climbed out well it found a place that it wanted to live in my house or in my yard better he'll live here for about three four months out of the year exactly. then he'll go back to Aqualand yeah. and if he gets bigger we'll put him in the indoor koi pond, koi pond. But uh, he was just living in a 130 gallon tank and if he gets bigger, we'll put him in the, the 2,000 gallon tank. And now he's got 500 gallons in here. Right when we first put him oh, in, we had, we had a really cold snap. It okay. got down into the 40s, so oh, I brought him inside. Oh, you did bring him inside? I did, I was night. freaked out. I'm like, I'm gonna bring him inside. Smart, uh, they do not do well with cold I at all. Think so. This is a, a equatorial animal, yeah. tropical animal. So you don't really want the water to get below 70 degrees, really. You know, we, we had talked earlier, and the reason that I'm up here right now is I'm trying to get ideas and figure out the next build, yeah. what we're gonna need it for, and it's going to be for the larger fly river turtles and these large endangered riverine turtles from Asia called Batagura finis. Mm -hmm. They're monsters. They're like 100 pound water turtles. Wow. So I wanna build a larger pond that can hold five of them, and I think that would just be amazing. Amazing. And similar to what you did with the Koi Pond in Aqualand, I want a window into their world. I love viewing them like this, but so much of their life is underwater. So I'd really love to see if we can come up with a window so we could see them while they're underwater. This is amazing.
Angie had babies yesterday morning all on her own. She didn't think she was due until later and I wasn't even watching. I woke up in the morning, came out here, look over the side and there were three babies on the ground. Oh wow, they're beautiful little animals. Yes, she had three little boys. And these will be future goat yogis? They certainly will. As of next weekend, they probably will Damn, be. Because really? yeah, we start pretty and soon. What is the goat yoga? They like to you climb know, on people, I, is that it? They or? do like to climb on people, but here's what I've determined. If we all were in a same pen, trying to get goats to interact with us. They don't love that because they don't really like being pursued. When you're doing yoga, you bring a really cool energy okay. and you're letting them approach you as opposed to you trying to get them. Right. And that's kind of where the magic happens. Cool, yeah. just let go. You just let go and you're doing yoga and you're actually enjoying a really nice yoga practice. And right. then at the same time- You have this magical you, moment. You have this moment, animal therapy and yoga kind of meet. This is amazing. So these animals are also used, uh, I mean, it's also a therapeutic Absolutely, moment. yeah. So people come out here and call them goat cuddle times and they get to just spend time with them. You'll always find just like one person that just closes their eyes and a goat will just lay down with them. Mm. And it's not about a goat jumping on them or, you know, getting the perfect selfie. Sometimes I'll just see someone in a, on a, in a class just put their face down, breathe on them. Yeah. And that is when I'm always like, oh, you get a little emotional. That's it. Like, yeah. that's the cool spot. I think the connection you have with an animal is one of the most purest, unspoken connections you can have on this earth. And I feel really chill just holding this thing. Right. It's awesome. Thanks so much for sharing this, yeah. guys. This is awesome. Oh, my <laughs> word. <laughs> you know, I can help you if you want. I'm good. Yeah. Well, you, well, you can. Yeah. You just give her a little bit at a time. Yep, I got you. No, I get it. Here, here Make it last. <laughs> Make it last, Ken. I'm trying. <laughs> Don't stress me out, lady. <laughs> just use your fingers if you have to. Because she'll, like, put her face right in the cup. I'm screwing up. You're not doing it right. I'm you doing gotta it wrong. I'm sorry. In it. Just no. use your hands. Oh. Just put a little furry in. Oh, oh okay. Little, little, little. Oh, that works. All right. Yeah. Good. We got it. Now you got it. There we go. There you go. Ten percent smarter than the goats. It's all we gotta be. It's all we gotta be. It's like you know, you don't have to be the fastest. Uh, nope, you just, just ten percent smarter. Slowest. Yeah, <laughs> the least slowest. Awesome. made the waterfall on the roof. Wait, the waterfall is right over here. <laughs> right here. Wow. <laughs> I have a story just on Friday. I call Ellen and I'm like, hey, the waterfall was running weird. I turned it off. Could you fill it up with water? She comes down here and there's this much water in here. Oh, wow. This flooded. So this little bugger right here <laughs> likes to dig. She was digging up by the waterfall and she pulled the liner down. She didn't oh, tear no. it. She pulled it down and that was literally right there. Oh, this man. was a, like a waterfall. This was all soaked coming down oh, and this no. was flooded. <laughs> I'm like, holy cow. Oh, I'm like, man. That's why you don't build a waterfall on your roof. <laughs> <laughs> and this is a real little- uh, It is. So that was not part of the original plan. Originally I had all walls going around and I'm down here, I'm like, I need a fireplace. Yeah. yeah. So then all of a sudden one day I rip the entire wall out. I start digging by hand to dig this in and I start building all these concrete oh blocks. God. You get a fire going in here in December. You could sit here Four. like in a pair of shorts because like it's like the... 85 wow. degrees. So cool. You got eight inches of soil. You're four feet underground. I'm eventually going to do a door on here. Gotcha. This is all living wall. I'm going to continue the moss and all that stuff coming across. And then this will be kind of like stonework and that type of stuff. And then a, then a wall. Like a sphere is super strong. You know, like an egg. You can't crush yeah. an egg, but you hit it on the side and it snaps. So this is made like a sphere. I have all this weight on the top. So the way this works, you look at these posts. They're kind of angled like that. When you put a load on top, what's going to want to happen is the top's going to want to go this way, but the bottoms are going to want to go in. Underground, I have a treated post that goes from Ties here to this. to this. So all of them are pushing into here. So the more weight I put on top, the harder it pushes to keep yeah. it upward. And it's anchored. Wow. And it's yeah. anchored. Yeah, it's like a freestanding, funky little sphere. Yeah. Cool. That's cool, man. <laughs> well, I like building stuff. I like challenges. I'm like, I like I that you like this. building stuff because you always do things uh, <laughs> down by me. Nice. Is, nice. This nice. is awesome, man.
right, I am with Noah and Kenan, and there's Andrew. <laughs> we are gonna start catching some of these Midland painted. This group we got last fall. We do have a few others that we caught almost a year and a half ago now, and we're gonna release them back into the wild. So these are those ones, if remember, we did that Head Start program on. We've given them a head start. They're gonna get re-released back into the wild so they could help to repopulate the native populations. All right, so Noah's already caught a bunch of them. Kenan's kind of walking around. We are then gonna drive these guys back out and do our release. All right, we've arrived at our location. Oh, got frogs popping around. This is the perfect spot for these little Midland painteds. So we have lots of overhanging vegetation. We have vegetation on the edges for them to come up. We also have lots of little areas for them to climb up on top of the different logs. And we have incredible amounts of food available for them as well inside of all this. Oh, first one. Yeah, man. There you go. Oh, that's so that's cool, it. man. That's so cool. You see that shell really blends in. And that's just what she wants to do. She wants to go in and hide in aquatic vegetation, right? Love it. So cool, man. 